What's up guys? Today I'm making a video that I never thought that I would make. This channel has been around for about four years. We started in 2017. We're almost to the four year anniversary, which is absolutely crazy. I never thought it would last this long, but all good things have to come to an end. Throughout the lifetime of the channel, we've opened epic old school boxes. We've done live streams for hours at a time to pull the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We've done discussions, we've done all kinds of stuff, and it's been a lot of fun, but something needs to change. I've put so much time into this channel, and honestly, with working and this channel and spending all this money and everything, it's just too much. I don't have time to do both work and this channel anymore, so I had to come to a decision. At this point, it's been over seven straight months of daily uploads. Every single day, there's been a video, there's been a live stream, there's been a short, not many of those because uh, I think we did two of them. It's something every single day for you guys to watch. There's been content and doing that every single day, it wears on you when you have to go to work every single day and come home, create the content, edit the content, put it out, all that stuff. And it's just too much. And I just can't do it anymore. I, I honestly just can't. I'm so tired of going to work, coming home, recording the content, editing the content, putting it out there, making sure it gets out there on time so I can go to work the next day, edit, putting out all my TCG player orders, stuff like that. So I've decided to quit and I'm, I'm officially done with work. I am going full time on YouTube. So yes, I am no longer going to be working. This is now going to be my full time job for all you guys that have asked, well, is this your full time job? It wasn't. Now it is. So now you guys know. Sorry to troll you guys a little bit for the two and a half minutes or whatever that was, but honestly, it has become too much and I had to make a decision, like I said, and I didn't choose work. I chose this to be my work because I love doing this. It's so much fun. I enjoy interacting with you guys. I enjoy doing the live streams, the videos, and now that it is a actual full-time job, we can do more of those live streams. I'm thinking about bringing back Twitch streams probably once a week at least, and we can do a lot of different stuff over there, not necessarily card openings. Maybe we can play some games. We can just watch some videos and chill. We can play some actual Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff like that. And I've been thinking about doing that on Twitch for a while because we did do Twitch for a while and it was super fun. But as I just told you guys, like with the going to work, coming home, having to have a video the next day, like there's no time for, for streams, honestly. Like when I was doing those streams, I was like dying. I had no time. But now that we are going to be full time, we can do some cool stuff like that. And if you guys have any cool things you want to see, you know, now that I have a little bit more time, maybe we can do a different type of video or whatever. Leave the suggestions down below. It's really exciting. It's an exciting time that things are going to be different for me, but honestly, still very similar for you guys. You're still going to get your videos. I'm not necessarily going to continue daily uploads. It was never a goal of mine to do a video every single day. I just felt like if I could get out a decent video, let's get it out there so you guys could have something to watch. But I have been considering maybe scaling back to maybe like five days a week so that we can have more quality videos and so that you guys can actually watch every video and not get behind because I know like seven videos a week is a lot and it, it can be tough to like keep up with every single video. And I think maybe if I did five videos a week, people would watch them more often. Like they would watch every video rather than just like five or four of them or something like that. So I've considered that. I don't know if it's going to happen. It probably won't right away, but maybe we'll start doing that at some point. Um, but for now, we're going to stick with, you know, just daily for the most part, unless I have something come up. But since I have you here and we're, we're you know, we need some content for today. I'm going to give you guys a timeline of how this happened. How did I end up becoming a YouTuber full time? It's a question I feel like a lot of people might be interested in. When I was growing up, I never had a job that I really wanted to do. So as I, when I was in high school, people would say, what's your major going to be in college? And I was like, I don't know. I, I don't really care. <laughs> so there wasn't anything that I wanted to do. So I went to college. I became an accounting major and just because my dad's an accountant and I know it's a solid job. That was the only reason I didn't love accounting. I didn't necessarily hate it. I just kind of did it. So when I was in college, pretty much all I did was play sports and then I would go to school or whatever. And I didn't like the school part. I would just try and finish it up so I could go, you know, play basketball, play uh, flag football or whatever was happening that day, watch sports, all that stuff. That's all I cared about really in college. So I finished college and I went to my master's program, which was one extra year before I went into the actual accounting field. And I found Yu-Gi-Oh! That's when I first found Yu-Gi-Oh! And it kind of gave me a sort of a dream. It was like, well, I really enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. I want to make a YouTube channel. So I made that YouTube channel. I didn't expect, I wasn't expecting this to happen, you know, become a YouTuber, a Yu-Gi-Tuber, whatever you want to say. I just thought it was really fun. 
and I enjoyed playing Duel Links. So I, so I made some videos, it didn't really do anything, and eventually it turned into this card thing. So I started getting into the cards, and it was actually having some success. People were watching it, people were liking the videos, people were uh, becoming members of the channel, all that stuff. And it actually grew to a point where I, I was thinking, this could actually be a job, and it's something I really enjoy. And I've never had something that I've really enjoyed that could be a job, like accounting was my job for several years, like three years now or whatever. And I don't love it, but it wasn't terrible. But this would be so much more fun. So once I first considered it a possibility in like December of 2020, I kind of made it a goal. I was like, let's try and make this thing into something that I can do for a career. And now that we're in nearly October of 2021, I think it's time that it can actually happen. I officially decided to quit like three months ago and I work for my dad, if you guys don't know, and he said, just give me three months to find somebody to replace you, which is kind of a long time, but it's my dad, so you're gonna give him the time. And that three months is coming to an end at the end of this week. So Thursday is my last day. After that, I am officially full-time on YouTube. And the dream that sort of started several years ago, and I actually realized it was possible about a year ago, is finally coming true, which is pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. I can't wait for it to actually, you know, begin. So that's sort of the background on how it's how it happened. If you guys want more details, maybe we'll do it. We'll talk about it in a stream or another video or something like that. But I figured that this this is a worthy of a video because I get this question all the time, like, where do you work? You know, what do you do? And I for the last three months, I've been kind of like, well, I know I'm quitting, but I'm not going to reveal it yet. So I've just kind of not talked about it. Now, you guys all know I am going full time on the YouTube thing. And there's a lot of cool things that I'm doing, some with other creators on YouTube, and then some are just uh, in general on our channel. There's a lot to look forward to. I can't wait for actual like in-person events and stuff to come back because now that I'm full time, I'll be going to a lot of those. I can just go to an event and that's work, which is insanely cool if you think about that. Going and seeing a bunch of people, playing Yu-Gi-Oh, meeting people is, is now part of my job, which is crazy and awesome. And I'm really excited about it. So that's it for this one, but we do have the mega tents coming up this week. So we're going to be opening quite a bit of those probably Thursday and Friday. I'm thinking Friday, we're going to do a live stream, which should be pretty cool. Assuming that it works out. And I also have some really cool stuff planned for like next weekend and future videos. Of course, we're almost at a hundred thousand subscribers. We're going to be doing a cool live stream for that. We got the 100,000 subscriber special for Retro Pack 2, opening that up, and Metal Raiders, and we have a Retro Pack 1 pack. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up. So if you're excited about it, hit the subscribe button. And if you do want to support my channel now that we are full time, you guys can always check out the YouTube membership down below, Patreon. You guys can buy anything from my affiliate links down below. Anything you buy from me directly supports me. And of course, just watching the video support. So any of that you want to do, I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys. And speaking of YouTube members and Patreons, I have to shout out the ultimate supporters on those platforms. We have Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko on Patreon. And then on YouTube, we have Toe and Faux Show and TCG Trusted Cards. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, especially now that we're going full time. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!